Hi everybody, this is Linda and welcome back to Hands That Cook. Pull up a chair and we're going to get started with this recipe, apple dumplings. Great for a football weekend or great when you have company coming or just for your family and they're so easy. The first thing I want you to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees. In a pot, I'm going to show you the pot because I got it cooking here. This is one stick of butter, which equals eight tablespoons, one cup of water, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and I've got about two thirds cups of sugar. And I'm going to heat this until it boils, but I'm not going to let it continue to boil. I'll um, take it off the heat once it starts boiling and the sugar dissolves and you know all of that good stuff. I'm going to put this back on my burner. I got my little casserole dish here and I have a container of grains. You know there's usually 12, I'm sorry, 8 biscuits in these large grand biscuits and we're only gonna we're gonna break these we're gonna divide these in half just like this my advice would be <laughs> leave them in the refrigerator <laughs> until you need them I have cut and cored and peeled two apples and I put them down in this lemon water. It's water with a little lemon so they wouldn't brown too much. And then I have a paper towel over here. If you can, there it is. And I've kind of uh, let them soak a little bit, dry off, so that um, they'll be easier to um, work with. All right, you're going to, after you break your biscuit in half, you're going to. Pat it out till it's a little bit thinner, just like that. You're going to take your apple slice. You're going to slice each apple <clears throat> in about um, eight eight slices. I can't find my salt. Here it is. All right, and and just the tiniest bit of salt on there just because you know it brings out sweetness then you're going to take the uh oh no worries you're going to take the biscuit after I put it back together and you're going to fold it over this apple slice you know like if you were making fried pies this is what it would look like just like this just seal up that spot and we're going to continue to get this all sealed up just like that get it sealed pretty good so it won't uh, So it won't seep out. Now the apples I'm using are Granny Smith's because that's what I had on hand. And um, I'm putting it down in my bowl. My little, I sprayed a little bit of butter on there on the bottom, bottom spray, you know, cooking spray, because I didn't want these to stick at all, which they shouldn't. But you just don't ever know. And I'm patting this one out. I'll do two or three of them for you. Here's my apple slice. Here's my tiny bit of salt. You know, take, and these are cold. This uh, dough is cold. It might work better if it was warmer. I don't know. 
but you know it's real easy to seal up and there we go not hard at all there we go all right that's two setting it in my little pot and now I'm going to get another biscuit and divide it like I told you all to do and you know if it breaks off unevenly it, it really doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all so let me get you back down here start patting this out <clears throat> now after I do these two I'm going to cut you off till I get to the next step because you will have seen how these work how you put them together alright here's your little apple piece just the tiniest bit of salt you know, pick up one side fold it over I pick it up I pick it up and I mash it together in my in my hands it's just it's easier for me that way because some of these apple slices you don't think are you think they're too big and um, but they'll fit they'll fit that's not a broken spot there all right that's three I'm gonna turn this one around here's the last one that I'm gonna show you now remember the stuff you've got in your pan you're gonna let it come to a boil but then you're going to take it off the heat and let it cool for just, you know, a little bit. This is a big old slice of apple right here. Here's my apple. Here's my tiny bit of salt. And if you think that's a lot of salt, it's not. Uh, that salt shaker has um, kosher salt in it and it's just a little too big for the holes in the salt shaker so it doesn't come out fast at all which is fine with me all right keep the keep the um, dough off of your board because as you can see they want to stick to the dough that's left behind all right that one I finished all of my little dumplings now you know if you get one can of the grands it'll have eight biscuits and when you divide them in half you have 16 halves so two apples divided into eight slices each will just be enough for this um, dish so I and I had to change dishes because my other one wasn't large enough to fit all of the little dumplings in there. Now, here's my my eight tablespoons of butter, a cup of water, half a teaspoon of vanilla and uh, I, I added a little more sugar to it it's probably got about three quarters of a cup maybe a little more because I tasted it and it didn't taste sweet enough to me and you can taste yours and see now this right here is um, a quarter of a cup of sugar and I added um, a tablespoon of cinnamon and I'm going to sprinkle liberally on my dumplings and 
and this goes right into that <coughs> that um that butter sauce we made got a lot of this sugar here so you know you really don't want your um your your sauce that you make to be too sweet because you've got this sugar going on top and it's going to equal it out and I'm not going to give up I mean I'm not going to uh, I'm going to use all of this sugar the amount of cinnamon you put in here is up to you I like my stuff cinnamony and if you do then you mix it like I did quarter of a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon or you can add more or less alright <clears throat> I'm gonna put this in uh, my 375 degree oven for 20 minutes and then we'll be back I'll let you know if it takes any longer hi guys I my <clears throat> dumplings are done and don't they look delicious don't they now I let mine stay in 23 minutes instead of 20 because I just didn't they didn't look as done as I wanted them to be but they sure look done now and I've got Sam here might as well put me two on there two yeah I know I know these are going to be delicious ooh they look so delicious I'm going to get a little bit of this juice for him these things are so good they made a movie about them the apple dumpling gang Oh, that was a kid's kid's movie. Well, that's mm -hmm. movie. A Christian movie. Yeah. Did you see it? I sure did. I bought one of my grandchildren a whole series of Christian movies, and she loved them. The Apple Dumpling Gang. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now. Mm-mm. We got Sam. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna move you in just a bit closer. Hold on just a minute here. I had to let these cool. Um about twenty five minutes because it, you know how hot fruit gets. Mm -mm. So we'll see what he thinks about them. Mm, absolutely delicious. Absolutely. Really? Mm-hmm. Just the right sweetness. I was going to ask you if they were too sweet. No, not too sweet. The cinnamon is delicious. I, it, these are delicious. Please make them, especially in the fall, you, you know, these things are Maybe. And it's a good time. It's a good uh, football weekend snack, or mm. company's coming. Somebody's going to show up in an hour. You got time to make these and have them cooled off. And I mean, you know, two apples make sixteen of them, and one can mm. of Grand Biscuits. Those are delicious. I love them. Let me tell you about this duck. <laughs> and I don't know whether this is a true story or not, but it was told to me. Said this duck waddled into this uh, drug store. And the pharmacist spotted him. And he said, can I help you, Mr. Duck? He hollered out, said, I need some chapstick. And the pharmacist says, well, I have that right back here. The duck said, well, good. He said, put that on my bill. <laughs> now, I don't know whether that's the truth or not. No, I don't know any ducks that talk other than Donald Duck. These are delicious. Mm. You really like I, them? Yeah. I okay. Don't, I tell the truth. If I didn't like them, I'd tell you. Yeah, you guys, he, he likes food, but if he doesn't like something, you'll know it. Well, thank you for coming in today. Spending part of your day with me. I always love it when you do. 
you if you think this video is worthy give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't it only takes a second and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video so until next time you all take care and God bless let me try to get in close there you go these are delicious. God bless all of you. Bye-bye.